so good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss about technical support engineer roles and responsibilities first of all i would like to tell you difference between application support engineer and technical support engineer so application support engineer is the engineer who supports the application for the client okay it is more of related to software job but technical support engineer not only supports the system applications but also he has to support some hardware uh, hardware as well like he has to take care of the system issues as well network issues as well okay so i have given 10 roles and responsibilities for technical support engineer so don't miss this video watch this video till the end so that it will improve your knowledge about technical support engineer and if you want to target the role for technical support jobs you can target for the same okay so first uh, responsibility for technical support engineer is providing technical support so assisting the customer in resolving technical support and addressing their concerns through various channel such as phone email live chat that is one of the role and responsibility for technical support engineer he has to support the customer okay he has to assist the customer using mail phone or any channel any medium uh, just like uh, i would like to give you one example like printer is not working for the customer okay due to some network issue so as a technical support engineer you require to troubleshoot that issue and resolve that issue with using the medium like phone email or live chat okay second is troubleshooting that is second responsibility troubleshooting means it is nothing but diagnosing or investigating the software or hardware problems reported by the customer to identify the root cause and find the appropriate solution okay so troubleshooting means uh, the diagnosing what exactly the issue is where exactly the issue is right sometimes uh, in your your printer example the printer is not working because printer is not connected in the proper network okay so you require to reach up to that step so you require to investigate that steps right so that is called as diagnosing uh, diagnosing or troubleshooting the issue okay that is another responsibility for technical support engineer next responsibility for technical support engineer is knowledge base maintenance knowledge base is nothing but the articles for different issues so that customer can resolve the issue with using self help okay so updating and creating articles in the knowledge base to help customer find out self help resources and reduce the customer request support request okay if you as a application support engineer or as a technical support engineer if you resolve the issues properly and if you maintain the documentation properly then customer will directly see that documentation in the knowledge base and it will reduce the support tickets right so that is third responsibility of a technical support engineer then bug bug tracking and escalation so documenting and reporting software bugs to the development team and escalating the critical issues whenever necessary okay so escalating the issues to the specified team is most most important thing over here okay why that is important let's say in your company one of the person is facing system issue and his system is not starting and you are not able to resolve that issues on time okay uh, then and but that uh, and uh, he or she is working on the critical project so he will lost one day right so it will be business or financial impact on your company as well these kind of issues needs to be escalated to the higher team or higher management okay so that is fourth the responsibility for technical support engineer remote assistance using remote desktop tools like remote desktop computer or any other tools you require to guide the customer to resolve their issues sometimes customer don't know that what exactly the issue is right so at that time 
as a technical support engineer you required to tell the customer that i'll give you the remote uh, you can give me the remote access i'll see the issue you required to see the process configuration network settings everything and you required to resolve the issue as a technical support engineer okay next is product training so you required to conduct timely training for the product and give the knowledge to the customer and internal staff to enhance their understanding regarding the product okay i would like to give you one small example which has happened uh, with me when we are working with one of the logistics company the technical support team has not given uh, the information about uh, the new feature not only to us but also to the customers as well okay so that has got the problem like customer was uh, customer got some notifications they don't know that that is a new feature okay so that time the customer uh, was facing some problem due to that lack of communication or lack of conducting the training sessions so you required to conduct the learning training sessions uh, to the customers on timely basis next responsibility for uh, application uh, sorry technical support engineer is continuous improvement collaborating with cross functional teams to provide feedback and suggestions for process improvement based on the customer feedback so you are the customer uh, you are the people who are facing the customer you are getting all the feedback from the customer okay so to get that feedback is not uh, is also important but to provide that feedback to the specified teams is most important things okay so you can organize some customer surveys take out the details from the customer and use it as a continuous improvement would like to give you one example if a customer has given you feedback that your database team is not working properly so you require to give that feedback analyzing all the data from customer surveys okay next is customer feedback analysis gathering analyzing customer feedback to identify recurring issues and areas of improvement to improve the process so you as a technical support engineer you require to gather all the feedback you require to prepare some reports after preparing that reports you require to know that some uh, some issues are uh, reoccurring so you can do some automation strategies to uh, identify and you require to reduce the count of the issues okay so customer feedback analysis is another important role for application support engineer uh, for technical support engineer next is timely response and resolution so as a technical support engineer you are bonded with slas your companies has made some agreement with other companies so that agreement is called as service level agreement so there are type of issues type of agreements there are p1 p2 p3 p4 issues there are mim incidents like major incidents so the agreement is different for every company and it will vary company to company okay so let's say you require to resolve the p1 issue in 4 hours so you you are bonded with the slas you require to at least give some solution to the customer by troubleshooting that issues uh, by checking that service level agreements okay that is most important thing for technical support engineer then customer satisfaction as a technical support engineer you require to focus on satisfaction of customer you require to provide friendly helpful environment to the customer okay so that customer will will be happy with the company okay so as a technical support engineer you require to assist some time of frustrated customer who encounter a data loss issue with empathy and professionalism you require to resolve that issue you require to guide the customer about recovery process okay and with that uh, your with that attitude customer will have to be happy okay next and last uh, responsibility for uh, technical support engineer is stay updated with the technology so you are seeing like today's world it's changing day by day technologies are coming day by day trends are changing technologies are changing right so keeping up the latest trends technologies and updates related to product and service being supported so you require to keep updated on latest trends technologies everything okay 
So technical support engineer regularly attends the webinars, workshops to stay updated with latest cyber security threats and trends. This is one example I have given about cyber security. But nowadays if you are seeing there are Windows patches are coming, Linux patches are coming. So as a technical support engineer, you require to know all the all those details. Okay. So these are 11 roles and responsibilities which I have given with an example as well. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel. Click on the bell icon. If you want stakeholder management interview questions or technical support interview questions for free of cost, kindly subscribe the channel and comment your mail ID in the mailbox so that I can provide you the interview questions. Okay. For this is for free of cost. Okay. Thanks for listening to this video till end. Cheers.